I got this comment on my video on the Gaussian integral. Why is dx dy r dr d theta? Where does this r come from? It actually comes from substitution in multiple integrals. Say you have this double integral of a function f of x, y over a certain region in the x, y plane. Now, say x and y are related to two other variables, u and v. For example, x is a function g of u and v, and y is another function h of u and v. Now, we can transform this double integral from x, y into u, v by replacing x and y by their respective functions. But now we have two things to worry about. First, the region is no longer in the xy plane. It's now in the uv plane. So let's call it another region g. So that's done. Okay. Then we have the differential terms dx dy. We're no longer in the xy world. We're now in the uv world. So can we just rewrite this as du dv? And that's it? Well, not quite. It turns out that we have to multiply by an additional factor, which is the absolute value of j. This j is called the Jacobian, and it's a function of the two new variables, u and v, and it's defined as follows. It's a 2 by 2 determinant of all the partial derivatives, x with respect to u, x with respect to v, y with respect to u, and y with respect to v. So if those two new variables are r and theta, so if we're going to polar coordinates, then what will this Jacobian be? dx by dr is cosine theta. dy by dr is sine theta. dx by d theta is negative r sine, and dy by d theta is r cosine. So this is the 2 by 2 determinant. Evaluating it, we get r cosine squared plus r sine squared. We can factor out an r. Cosine squared plus sine squared is always 1, so this becomes r. Now the absolute value of r is just r because we know that r represents the distance from the origin, so that's always positive. So that's it. The factor we need to multiply by is just r. And this is why dx dy is r dr d theta. Now, this is just one method. Is there another method you can think of? If so, make sure to leave it in the comments down below.